Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video, I am going to do a speed test, multitasking and NAND storage comparison between the Pixel 2 XL and the Nokia 7 Plus. Why this comparison you ask, given the price difference between the two phones? Well, that's because of just how good the Nokia 7 Plus is. ID say that it's the perfect Nexus 5X replacement for many, given its price to performance ratio, which is further sweetened by the fact that it's an Android One handset with Nokia promising monthly security updates and speedy Android updates for two years. Now, the Pixel 2 XL might be six months old at this point of time, but on paper, it's clearly still a more powerful handset than the Nokia 7 Plus. But does this raw horsepower translate into any performance advantage in real life? Let's find out in our speed test comparison. A quick look at the specifications of both handsets before we start with the speed test though. The Nokia 7 Plus comes with an Octa-Core Snapdragon 660 chipset clocked at 2.2 GHz and it's paired with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage space. It does feature Qualcomm's custom cryo cores, but they're not as powerful as the Snapdragon 835 chipset found inside the Pixel 2 XL running at 2.35 GHz. The variant of the Pixel 2 XL that I'm using here supports 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage space. So for the speed test, I opened the nine set of applications and games on both phones. This includes games like Asphalt 8, Asphalt Extreme, Temple Run 2, Hill Climb Racing 2, and apps like Camera, Chrome, Snapseed, Photoshop, Lightroom, and Microsoft Excel. I think that this is a perfect mix of applications that people use on a day-to-day -day basis and which push phones to their limit. Well, unsurprisingly, the Pixel 2 XL won the speed test comparison. No thanks to its more powerful Snapdragon 835 chipset that is not only clocked higher, but it is also more efficient. So while the Nokia 7 Plus took 54 seconds in our speed test round, the Pixel XL took only 40 seconds, translating into a difference of 14 seconds. This is something that you will easily notice in day-to-day -day life, maybe not so much while opening light applications, but definitely while loading heavy games like Asphalt 8 and Asphalt Extreme. Now there's a catch though. The Pixel 2 XL does not win our multitasking comparison. It unloads Asphalt Extreme as well as Asphalt 8 from its RAM. While the Nokia 7 Plus did not unload any single application or game from its memory. This is because the Pixel 2 XL comes with a higher resolution display and yet has the same amount of RAM as the Nokia 7 Plus. As a long time Pixel 2 XL user, I can confirm that the handset's multitasking performance is not that good compared not just to the Nokia 7 Plus, but against many other budget as well as flagship handsets. Its poor multitasking performance can be seen from the fact that at the end of our multitasking comparison, the handset only had around 160 MB of free RAM, while the Nokia 7 Plus fared slightly better at around 360 MB. Lastly, in our NAND storage speed comparison, the Pixel 2 XL was the clear winner. Its sequential read and random read benchmark scores were significantly higher than what the Nokia 7 Plus could achieve. And the superior NAND performance is also a factor as to why the Pixel 2 XL is able to load heavy applications faster than the Nokia 7 Plus. And why the handset feels smoother while under heavy load, where the Nokia 7 Plus can show some signs of lag or stutters. So overall, this video shows that while the Nokia 7 Plus cannot beat the Pixel 2 XL in pure speed, it's still a formidable Nexus 5X or even a Pixel replacement for many thanks to the stock Android experience that it offers. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button below and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.